This hands-on activity is an exploration of equilibrium and its different types, stable, unstable and neutral. We will see that systems always try to get into a state with the lowest energy and this is what determines the type of equilibrium. The equipment we will use in this activity is some pieces of wood of different thicknesses and a support that we put the blocks of wood on. For the support we will need an old battery, two toothpicks, some sticky tape and some fine sandpaper. To make the support, attach two toothpicks to the old battery to stop it rolling and stick a piece of fine sandpaper onto the battery at the top. The sandpaper stops the wood from slipping off. Once you have made the equipment, begin the activity by balancing a thin piece of wood on the base you have made. Once it is balanced, we will test what kind of equilibrium we have. Stable equilibrium means that if you disturb the wood from equilibrium, it will return to it. Touch the balanced wood to make it tilt a little and it will return to its original position. Whichever way you knock it, it goes back by itself. This is stable equilibrium. The reason that it goes back is that if it rolls around the support to the left, its center of mass is to the right of the point of contact. So we have a moment pulling it back to its equilibrium position with the wood horizontal. This is the situation with a thin piece of wood, but now we should try with a thick piece of wood. We find that when the wood is thick, we have a very different situation, because however we put the wood on, it falls off. This is unstable equilibrium, and it happens because when we roll the wood around the support to the left, the centre of mass is now to the left of the point of contact, which causes a moment trying to push the wood off rather than back to an equilibrium position. Stable and unstable equilibrium are related to the change in potential energy as we move the wood block. With stable equilibrium, the potential energy has a minimum at the equilibrium position. With unstable equilibrium, the potential energy has a maximum when the wood block is horizontal. A system always tries to get to the lowest energy state it can. With stable equilibrium, the lowest energy state is when the wood is balanced horizontally. With unstable equilibrium, the lowest energy is when the wood has fallen off. There is a third kind of equilibrium which is different from stable and unstable equilibrium and is called neutral equilibrium. There is no preferred position for the piece of wood, so you can move it to any angle and it will stay there. This is because with neutral equilibrium the potential energy is the same at every position, so there is no tendency to move anywhere. The centre of mass is always above the point of contact, so there is no moment. We will now find the condition for neutral equilibrium in this system. To find the condition for neutral equilibrium, we calculate the height above the centre of the support in two situations. When the wood is level and when the wood is tilted. For neutral equilibrium, the potential energy in the two situations is the same. So we require that H1 is approximately equal to H0. We can simplify the value of H1 minus H0 if we consider that the angle theta is small and use the approximation cos theta equals 1 minus theta squared over 2. In this case, if we set h1 minus h0 equals 0, since theta is not 0, the bracket L over 2 minus R must be 0. And so the condition for neutral equilibrium 
is L equals 2R. This means that in this system we will have neutral equilibrium if the thickness of the wood is equal to the diameter of the support. If the wood is thicker than this, we will have unstable equilibrium. And if it is thinner, we will have stable equilibrium. This activity shows students how to use the change in potential energy and how a system tries to find the lowest energy situation possible. Learning by doing a hands-on activity helps your students experience the change in potential energy in an understandable way.